Hi, uh, what's, what's her name? Sasha Prira and Dr. McNair. Uh, we're gonna give you our li li short little demo of what we got right here working so far. Uh, we got four nodes and uh, the computer and the cell phone right now that we're gonna uh, interface together and network. Um, and as you know, we're as you as you know, we're gonna implement Ed's efficient data delivery scheme for uh, wireless wireless address-free wireless networks. And uh, what we got so far is uh, we we got the nodes. They were just reprogrammed. And uh, before deployment, we have to uh, select the location of where the node's going to be at. But for right now, we just have it set up for location one, two, three, or four. Uh, so that's how we're going to set it up. Uh, we're going to start by sending the advertisement packet, and uh, and you're going to see how the how the advertisement packet is going to go through the network. We're going to do it manually right now because. Um, the power transmission levels, even though we lowered it to the lowest possible transmission level, it still reaches pretty far away. And for the amount of space that we have here, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work out. As you can see, it's just a, it's just not big enough. Just a small house. So, so what's gonna happen is um, we're gonna start it off. We got the, uh, this, 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 this is gonna be our uh, sender, our advertisement sender. And then this is going to be our receiver. This window right here. Can you, can she see it? That looks pretty good. All right. Okay. So we're going to send the advertisement packet. Okay, hold on. Before I send it, we're going to initialize one of them. We're going to do one by one because of the power level issue again. So we're going to initialize this one to location one. Can she see location one? Yeah, I got it. Location one. So we're going to send the advertisement packet. Okay. So it sent it. So now we're going to initialize the second one. Okay. So this will be location two. All right, and then we're, I'm gonna unpause, unpause it because I paused I, I paused it because of the transmission power level again. So I'm gonna unpause it and then it's gonna retransmit the advertisement packet to the other node. So it did it. Same. So this one's now two, and I'm gonna set the third one to location three, as before, and then unpause this one. Okay, so that one's two now, and then this one should be three, and then I'm going to set this to location four, so you can see there, four, mm -hmm. all right, and then retransmit this advertisement packet, so I'm pause it, retransmit, so now this one's four, and then this will this will be the last node, so I'll, I'll unpause this one, and then it'll transmit its, its node, so as you can see, the, as you can see, the network got initialized, we did it manually again, but now we have one, two, three, and four. So now we can start deploying these guys. So I'll set my sync node over here. Try to set it as far away as possible from the other ones. Okay, I got nodes two and three. Lloyd, can you bring node four? Yeah. Two, so two's here. Three. Okay, three's gonna be here. Three. And then four, we could just put right here. Okay. Or on the floor somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, what's gonna happen is we're gonna start off with node one. With our pink blow dryer. With our pink blow dryer. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start off with node one and we're gonna what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna make cause this temperature to go up and then the sync node, Lloyd, if you wanna stand over there and, and uh, record the sync node instead of this guy. Okay. And then the sync node will uh, actually receive it. Okay, so I'm sending the command to start the receiving mode. So sync is ready to receive. Uh, that's Let's see. There. There's a bunch of glare. Is there a glare? Yeah. There Can we go. Shut off this light. Yeah. Oh, Wrong one. There we go. Can you see it now? Yeah, that looks way better. All right. So I'm gonna start this guy. All right. And you can see it's receiving it on the left hand command screen. 
What's the temperature? I don't think he did it long enough. Temperature is 103 at right now. Yeah. Uh, Temperature's the, the, right here. The threshold that I have is set to receive is at 100. So anything over 100, it'll start receiving. If it's under 100, it won't. It won't receive it. All right, we're good. So it's a, a temperature of 119. So it's a temperature of 119. And then 11. the way, what we what we did is uh, we set it up so that when the temperature of over 110 gets sent over the network. Oh, just texted my cell phone. All right, so. Uh, don't remember the password to my cell phone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it's blurry. Can you hold the cell phone? Yeah. All right. You can see here. Wait. There we go. No, don't move the cell phone. Okay. All right. So there's the text we receive once the temperature threshold has been surpassed. Okay. Now this was just the first the first node. So it, it really the, right now the nodes aren't hopping. Oh, and you could see you could see on the Wireshark. You know the you can see the data packets going through the network and they're updating and so forth. So the nodes are being transmitted and we could see it. We're not cheating. <laughs> we're not, we're not <laughs> cheating. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it hop. Okay. So Lloyd, can you uh, get over here on this node, please? Yeah. And right now, as you can see, the the node says it's a data node because the uh, data is being transmitted from here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to number two and I'm going to uh, make make that one go off and this one will turn into a forwarding node. Let's see him with the blow dryer. Forward node. Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Forwarding node. So now you can see that this one was a forwarding node and it's toggling back and forth between data and forwarding because it's, it's still over a it's still it's this one is still over a hundred a threshold of a hundred, so it's still transmitting. But it's also acting as a forwarding node from for the other one. And then we'll do a third one. Or do you wanna show her? Yeah. All what right. temperature? It should have gotten over 110 once at least. Oh, it doesn't say it there. It's 105. Yeah. Well, should have new text still. Yeah. So, so like four as you can see, now. we got we got more text messages. Yeah. So it is our network is working, and then we'll do more hops. All right, Lloyd. We're gonna do the last node, and then and then I want you to show her to walk through. They all say forward node. They forward node, and then one of them, depending on if it loses contention or not, we'll say lost node. And this the lost node basically saying, yeah, I lost contention to another node in the network, and that that one didn't retransmit any data. So I'm gonna get the blow dryer and hit the last one. All right. So. Right now, this one still just says cost value three, but it'll go to data or a forwarding node. There we go. So that one's got forwarding node. This next one, I don't know if you could hear them all beeping, but they are. This one says forwarding node upside down for you guys, but that's all right. Yeah. And it's and there's a lost node one because there's node. contention. So lost contention. So yeah. it's no lost big deal. Node. And again, that's because the power levels are so high that all the nodes right now can basically hear each other. So uh -huh. that's what you got right now for our demo. Um, we could reset the network tasking by updating the sync. Oh, it did go over 110 because I got we got more emails. Getting a bunch of texts. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna we could update the sync. Let's see, getting a bunch of texts. Oh yeah, it's working, man. It's working. And then I could do a sample network. So I'm going to retransmit the the sync the network, reinitialize it. But in this case, before I had it at a threshold 
so that the data nodes will will send their data when threshold was exceeded. Now we're going to send it so that data data gets transmitted on a sample data rate every 10 seconds. Which node is it taking it from? So now data is only being sent every 10 seconds. And we could see it on here. So, is there anything else that we want to show her, Lloyd? Um, maybe we just like do a manual one. A manual? Yeah. Alright. Just to show that we have a lot of different functions. Yeah, so now we could do a, a manual text message as well. So uh, now I'm sending it the command to uh, send it manually. Okay. Resets the network. Okay, and then I could go back in here. Come back in here and uh, set it to manual temperature. And it'll transmit it over to the sink. And that's all we got. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them on the uh, website and uh, we'll definitely answer any of the questions we got. Or we could schedule a uh, forwarding uh, or a conference call if you want to do that. So thank you again for watching.